Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is This Man That Loves Purple or Evelyn. And it's about that time. Today is the 13th of December, Wednesday. And I'm going to embark on my London Marathon training. It finally begins. I've been ooing and ahhing about whether to start doing some base building runs from October and November. I got really lazy. I uh, haven't really been doing that, although I have been trying to, alongside my niece and my sister, to do about 7k a day. As you know, I run every day. So I've been doing that on and off, but I don't know if you can tell by my voice, if you remember my voice. I've been away for a while. Uh, I've got a cold and I made it worse by going out for a 7k run yesterday in the pouring rain. So I think I made it worse, but I just signed up to use the Cooper running app as it's in conjunction with London, or the TCS London Marathon. So it's the recommended training app and I've been looking for a plan to use. I was in two minds whether to try and use my Manchester training plan so, so I can try to get back down to four and a half hours. I know it's ambitious, but I thought, you know, if I start early, build up the base, I can get there. So um, I'm confident that I'll get definitely sub five hours but whether I can get to four and a half is another matter. The Cooper app does ask you certain questions and I did put in 425, I think. So it will give me, the difference is, I think it does it on time, not um, pace or speed. It tells you what to run on your average, but it basically wants you to run to time. So one hour, two hours, that's what it says. But my first run of the week, um, is a Wednesday. The first two days were rest days, but today's run, I'll put it on the side, is a interval session, which is very slow um, warm up and walking breaks, but the uh, intervals are quite fast, five, 12 minutes per kilometer. I'm not quite down to that 30 or sub 30 um, park run yet, although I did do 30, 20 something at uh, great denim a couple of weeks ago so i am back to closer to 30 minutes but i really would have liked to be an average of 28 29 minutes each time and at least at my local one which is wore down because if i can do it there i can do it anywhere really because there's four hills we call them but they're quite slopey but um not quite there yet i think the fastest this year at wore down is 31 27 i think and then my overall fastest time actually was under it was 29.54 at Great Dem. So I did get to one sub 30 minute park run but or 5k but that was at a flat course and it was only two loops. So I was proud of myself to get there but I haven't really got very close and we've started to do some tourist um, ones as well so they're quite hilly so I'm not gonna kick myself in the teeth about that. But yeah so I have this cold and I have this run streak and I have the Cooper app saying I should start today so it mounts to about 4k so I'm happy with that I don't think I would be able to do I mean I could do it because I felt good yesterday I just, just think I made it worse by running in the rain so maybe I shouldn't really be running outside until I feel better so I'm going to the gym now to do the run so the paces will be a little bit slower because the gym never matches my watch but I've worked out what the uh, minutes per kilometre pace is in km per hour and uh, miles per hour, depending on what the uh, treadmill has been set to. And I'll just stick to that and I'll finish it. So, excuse me. So it's a 10 minute warm up, 10 minute cool down and about 10 reps of one minute fast, one minute walking recoveries. So I think I should be able to manage that. In my head I can. And I'll be inside, so I haven't got that far to go. If I just need to stop, I just need to get to a mile, then I'll be happy. But I should manage 4K. So it says our average 4K, but it doesn't really give you the time. As I say, it says no pace, but it does give you the pace to run. So it's a bit weird. But we'll see how it progresses. The app looks nice. The initial free week, we'll see how that goes. But it seems like there's only obviously a week. And for me... I've done five sessions because that's the most that you can select. And of course, the two days I'll either do 7K at heart rate, zone two, 
or I'll just do a mile depending on how I feel. If I feel better, it'll be back to 7K. The good thing about the app is that it also takes you through strength training, yoga, and other forms of exercise during the week. So I don't really get to do that. I have just come off a nearly 75 day, is it 75? A 12 week program with Get Fit with Rick. It was a shred, a sculpt and shape 12 week program but they weren't long enough because I wanted to do 45 minutes of exercise plus my run. And they tend to be to 20 minutes to 30 minutes is the most. So I end up doing two a day. So I finished that program already. I'm doing the Christmas challenge and then I'm going to cancel it. And if I want to do them, I'll just do them from YouTube because most of them are from YouTube. There are some few member exclusive ones, which are quite good, but they're few and far between. So I don't think, um, I mean, it was good. Accountability is good. Being part of the group and staff and the live um, streams that it does every week is good. But I don't really get involved in Facebook groups and stuff. So it's not really my thing. So I'm not going to really miss much and I don't have to pay the money. So, and then if I like the Cooper app for the week, I will pay for the um, quarterly. So just pay for two quarters and then I'll cancel it after the marathon. So that is my plan so I will put along here what the plan is for this week I think it's a the interval session today I think a 3k run on Friday strength on Saturday but also I'll do puck run and then a I think an hour run on Sunday so we'll see how it goes well anyway hopefully you'll come back and watch my updates it's been a while but I'm back all right I'll let you know how it goes Hear me. It's going to be more fast. Damn it. Of course, because the treadmill doesn't come ready to watch the pace of it, but I did the right paces on the treadmill, but my watch shows slow. And also, as I said, I calculated the 512 pace, but I put it in the wrong place. So my first interval is a bit slower than the other five and five. I felt fine running it. That minute was slightly too long, but I did it. And then um, it didn't quite reach 3. Point, it didn't quite reach 4k on my watch. It was 3.91 while well, the treadmill was 4k. So I'm going to take it as done good. We'll see what the app says when I upload it. But, I'm running up to my cold, but my voice is really good. Yeah. So, first run of the training plan, done. Good afternoon. It's Friday. Left it very late today, but it's just after one, probably about 20 past one by now. And second run on the plan, making it easy for me this week with a 25 minute easy run. 7, 17 minutes kilometer pace, just for 25 minutes. Normally I would do it double because it would be about three and a half K um, because I, I've been doing a 7K minimum. But as you can tell by my voice, I'm still with cold. Much better today, but still not 100%. So I will just stick to the easy run and uh, I'm doing it as an errant run. So I have to pick up some medication from Boots. So I'll do a little run to town, pick up, the stuff and then walk back so be running with my friend's bag so that make it easy as well um although yeah actually i've been running the 7k in last week in about 708 and fast is probably about 658 so 717 should be fine but again i'm a little bit ill did my get fit with rick workout this morning and i did feel much better than when i did it yesterday so I must be on the mend. But yeah, so that's day two of the London Marathon training plan via the Cooper app. Sorted, so gonna get out and run. See you in a bit. And I'm done in the town centre, Luton. Get ready to go in the mall to get my stuff and boots. I managed to do, um, I kept within the pace. The pace range was 6.56 to 717 and I think I did 702 
so not bad. It didn't feel that easy. I could have pushed myself further, but it didn't feel easy, easy. But yeah, I'm still a little bit ill, so that would be why. But yeah, so second round done. And I'm happy. Alright, good morning. I'm here at Park Run, ready to do my 300th. I've put it on my back. <laughs> 300th Park Run today. Um, today's session, oh, it's about to start. Can you hear? So I haven't told anybody that's my 300th, so I won't get an announcement. I told them it was my 250th. I didn't get an announcement anyway, so bothered not. <laughs> um, but yeah, today on the plan was a strength session. So I did that this morning, 27th it was. Uh, 27 minutes it was. Went well, nice. Not too, too bad, not too uh, strenuous for the first one but yeah all right let you know how it goes Hi guys, I've now finished the run. It was the Three Counties Cross Country at the at Bulldog, North Hearts Road Runners. Very, very muddy affair. Was not looking forward to it at all. But I, uh, I have a cold, as you probably know by now. I must say every day. I've got a cold, so I didn't think I could do it. I nearly, nearly said, could I have a refund because I saw some pictures and it was very muddy and there's one massive hill but you know what I actually enjoyed it it was a bit of an effort needed some energy took some energy out of me more than normally but because I've got the cold but no I enjoyed it, it was good it's a lovely sunny day uh not as cold as it could have been it still was cold but not as cold as a normal cross-country day would be in December um but no it's funny it was fun you can see out the fields so we're just in the car park now and that was the HQ it's all getting shut down now but yeah that so that um counts as my 40 minutes uh, long run for the first week so it's a nice easy week because it's well before the 16 week I think it's easing me in slowly um but I feel like despite the cold I've managed to complete it today's run I was definitely slower than I should have been for the 40 minute section but that's mud and hills and um, cross country so I'm gonna take it I obviously did about 20 not obviously I did about 20 minutes longer than the prescribed uh, amount of time so as I said before it does do it via time but it does tell you the approximate pace and distance that it should work out to be but it's really what you can do in the time so yeah I'm liking it so far so it's been a week week one and a week on the Cooper app so I think I will go ahead and purchase it I think it will automatically take my money but I'm only doing it quarterly so it's 20 20 pounds or 19.99 so I like I like the app it's quite cool you get to speak to a coach if you want directly I mean they don't reply directly but you can tell it's somebody responding to you so so far so good I like the interface and I like when you import your run it there's like a nice comparison between what you're supposed to do and your target I don't like the way it counts your splits from your watch and messes up the splits that it's supposed to give you but apart from that it looks good I like it so that's week one of London Marathon 2024 training done. So far, so good. I feel I have the cold and I was able to keep up with the paces apart from today. Um, okay, so once I don't have a cold, I should be in better shape to, um, to do the runs. But overall, happy with the week one. So roll on to next week. 
hope you enjoy the video if you do please do smash that like button and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe and i'll see you next week for another one take care bye